Professor Pallas here. Today we're going to learn how you can use the slideshow feature in Google Drive to create a collaborative group presentation. There may be times where you need to work with other students to create a presentation and it's not possible due to either lifestyles, time schedules, or geography for you to actually get together and create a presentation in the same room at the same time. Not to worry, with the technology that's available to you today, you can easily and effectively do this. I'm going to show you how to do this using the slideshow program that is part of Google Drive. You could also use a program like PowerPoint, but today we're going to show you how to use this Google Slideshow in Google Drive. So if we take a look here at my screen, you can see that we're in Google Drive. If you look over to the left, you can confirm that you see the triangular Google Drive logo. The very first thing that we're going to do is create a skeleton slideshow presentation. We will then share this with group members and they will be able to go in and add their own information to the slideshow. One of the benefits of using Google Drive is that will, it will automatically and continuously record the work that you're doing for you. So you don't have to remember to stop and save your work. So let's get started. We're gonna go over here to the left and we're gonna click on this big new button. We're gonna click on that and we wanna create a new Google Slideshow presentation. So we're gonna scroll down and we're going to select Google Slides. And this will automatically create a new untitled presentation for us. If we go over to the right, there are some different themes that are available to us. So you can select a theme for your presentation. You just scroll down here and you'll see there are several different options available to you. I'm going to select this blue one. And so now it populates with our title slide in that particular theme. The first thing I'm going to do is click to add a title. So we'll call this our group presentation. I then clicked where it said click to add subtitle and I'm going to add the names of the students who are working on the project here. Alright, so we're getting started. If you take a look though, Google Drive doesn't have a name for the file yet. If we look up here to the left, it says Untitled Presentation. If we click on that to rename it, it will automatically save it as what you gave to the title for the presentation. You can type something different in there if you would like. But we're going to save it as group presentation in my drive, so we will just leave that as is, and that's how it's going to save it. Now we'd like to add in a few slides. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the horizontal navigation bar. This navigation bar helps you make changes to the slideshow itself. So we are going to insert a new slide. Insert, new slide. Okay, now the type of slide that was inserted was, is what Google would consider a body slide. This one looks pretty good to me, so we're going to keep this, but we'll change that up as we go along. Click to add title. So we will call this important information. And then we're going to click to add text, and then you would put bulleted text here. All right, and I'm just typing and it's adding the text in. It's very simple and very easy to use. Let's add in a slide where we might insert a chart or a graphic. When you're creating presentations, charts and graphics and images can be very powerful ways to communicate your message. All right, so we're going to insert a new slide. And again, it's automatically giving us that body style slide that is part of this theme that we selected, but I'd like a different layout. So if we go underneath 
This second navigation bar is a navigation bar for your individual slide. And we're going to change the layout of this individual slide. And we want to be able to add in a photograph. So we want more white space. So we're going to select this one. And now we're going to click to add a title. And we'll call this Data Analysis. And we're going to add an image in here. So to add an image, we're going to go up to this navigation bar. And this icon that looks like a little photograph of a mountain says insert image when we mouse over it. And that's exactly what we want to do. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click upload from computer. And we're going to upload an image that I have saved called example chart. So we click on that. And we hit open. And there it is. Now it did set the image here. It left aligned the image. You can leave it that way, or if you prefer, you can manually move that image around. So I'm going to drag it to the center of the slide. You know it's centered when that red line pops up. See that horizontal red line? That indicates that the image is centered. So we're going to click that. We're going to leave that there. Okay. And then we're going to add another slide. Insert because this is a group presentation. So there, if there are four or five students, there should be at least four or five slides, one per person. And then we're going to click title here, and we're going to put discussion of data. And we're going to put some important points in here. So we're going to come down here. And now I need to insert a text box. So if I go over next to the mountain image, there's a picture of a T in a box. That's your text box. Click on that, and we're going to insert a text box. The crosshairs populate down here, and I can make this text box as large or as small as I would like it to be. So I'm going to set that up there like that. And now my cursor is inside the text box blinking, and we are going to put our data discussion points here. Point one, point two, point three. All right. Now, Mike is going to take care of this for us. He's a member in our group and he's pretty good with the data. So, down here in speaker notes, I'm going to type this in. Mike will insert discussion points and we'll talk about this slide in our presentation. All right. So now we know who's going to go in and put this data here. You could also, if you wanted to, you could do this. You could put this right in here so that everyone who logs on understands, oh, Mike is the one who's going to log in and key the data into this slide for us. Okay, so either or both approach is a good one to use. All right, and Google is automatically saving this for us as we go along, so we don't have to keep saving it. Let's go ahead and add one more slide in here for our conclusion. So we're going to add a new slide, and we're going to change the layout of this slide, and it's going to be our conclusion slide. We'll pick this one, and this will be conclusions. And down here, type in conclusions. Carrie will provide. And then down here for speaker notes, this is where you would type your speaker notes. Carrie will provide and talk about this slide. So if you want to put in speaker notes for yourself, this is where you would type them. So this is a great example. If we go back up here to this chart that we put in, you might click down here for speaker notes and you might put some points in for yourself. If you were the person assigned to this slide, what did I want to talk about um, in reference to the visitors that we surveyed who were mostly from Massachusetts and who were on the younger side? Why is this relevant? If you think you're going to forget or just if you like to be prompted when you're recording presentations, speaker notes are a great place to keep that data. All right, so now we have a nice 
shell of a presentation prepared and ready for group members to go in and key in their content. The way that we do that is we share the presentation with the group members. That will enable them to access this slideshow presentation and make changes to it. If we go over to the top right, there's a yellow button here that says share. We're going to click on that and we're going to share this presentation with others. So what we're going to do is we are going to add some information for some of our group members. And we're going to add someone else. All right. And we want to make sure that they can edit. So we're going to click can edit. Okay, if, if you set them up as can comment or can view, they can see the presentation, but they can't actually make changes to it. And it is important that you enable these people to edit the document so that they can put in their information. So click can edit. And then we're going to add a note and we're going to put Mike and Jan. This is the presentation for the group project due in March and we're going to click send. So Google is recognizing that these are not Google account emails, but we want to send the link anyway. Okay. And typically the people that you're working with are going to have Google accounts. So you'll, this won't pop up, but I just want to let you know, if you click send, the invitation is going to go out anyway. And you can see it says link sharing updated, shared with two recipients. Okay. So there we have it. We now have a group presentation that we've created. We've created several different slides. We've seen how to add a chart or an image graphic and we've seen how to share that with our group members. Thank you.